Welcome back guys, this is Benito and this is my fourth tutorial on MATLAB. So in this tutorial I'm going to teach you a little more plotting techniques and um, a little more on how to change the appearance of your plots. So let's open up MATLAB and what we'll do is start by typing in, we want the, we'll say we want the x values to go from 0 in steps of 1 all the way up to 100 and we want to plot y equals x squared. So let's try and run this. So what you'll see is you get an error uh, which says incorrect dimensions for raising a matrix to a power. And it says to perform element-wise matrix powers use dot the, to the power of. So it's also telling us the error is in uh, function t4 and line 4. So if you click on this line 4, it will take you to the line. So what this is saying is um, this equation is saying you want to take each element in the x variable and multiply it by itself. So you need to tell MATLAB in a specific way and the specific way is by adding a dot in front of the uh, up arrow sign. So what this will tell MATLAB is I want to multiply the element in in this array. So I want to multiply each element by itself. So now if we try to plot this by typing in x comma y we should be able to run this without any errors and you can see we get the, we get the graph of y equals x squared. Okay, so every time you are multiplying or doing a element by element wise operation, so let's say if you are doing uh, x times x, then you have to put a dot in front of the um, element wise operation. So always remember that. So we'll just keep, uh, we'll just stick to the dot to the power of two. Um, and we'll plot this. So we've plotted this already and we want to change the appearances. So in the previous tutorial I showed you if you type in help plot then it will show us some examples of what you can do with the plot function. So within the plot function inside this brackets you can add in a lot more uh, parameters which will change the appearance of the plot. So one example is you can say so in this plot you can see it's just a solid blue line what we will say is we want a red dashed line, so the color red is R, and then if you want a dashed line, then you do two dashes. So if you click run, then you get a red dashed line. Um, so if we scroll up in the help, what you can see is you can define different colors, you can define different markers, so instead of dashed lines, you could change this to a square, for example. So for square, what you have to type in is just simply S. And if we run, you can see we get mini squares. And you can zoom in and see you get mini squares. Okay, so that's quite small. So let's see, I want to change the size. So to change the size, you have an option called marker size. So we'll just copy and paste this. So you have to add a comma and then type in marker size. And we'll change the size to 10. So you can see the, the size of the squares has increased uh, compared to the previous one and you can see it has a blue um, outline. So now let's say I want to change the fill the square with a color. So we'll say uh, to do this what we can do is mark a face color. So we'll just type that in this time. Marker face color and just, uh, just make sure uh, that you type in C-O-L-O-R not L-O-U-R. Uh, and we'll say we want it to be uh, black. So the letter for black is K. So we'll say K and run this. And you can see, and you can see the face color has changed to black. And let's say I want to change the marker edge color to green to make it stand out, marker edge color to green, so the letter for green is G, and you can see it's standing out pretty well now. Okay. So that's how you use marker edge color, marker face color, and marker size. Now, let's say you're actually sticking to a simple line. So let's get rid of this, and you stick into a simple line, which is, let's say, red, red dashed. Uh, sorry, if you, if, if you want a simple, straight line you can just type in uh, R and then you can keep it there uh, but you want to change the width so to change the width it's quite simple you just type in line width 
just make sure this W is capital and you can define the size so we'll change it to something like no, 5 let's say so you can see it's quite thick uh, let's see what happens if we change it to 10 okay you can see the the line width has uh, doubled so that's how you change the appearance of uh, the plot function so you can do a, a lot more things uh, like you can add a grid um, you know by typing in grid and you can uh, do different things so you can you can always uh, plot your function and then change it in the way you like it and to save this plot for example if you want to save this you can simply click on uh, if you're in the later, uh, later versions of MATLAB like 2018 or 19 I think it's even in 2017 you can click on this save button or you could um, copy the image uh, or you could um, save it as a copy it as a vector graphic which means you can scale it without losing any resolution okay so and one other way to save it is just simply by clicking on file and then save as and then you can you can save it as a, a figure a PNG JPEG or you know in different formats that you wish to save it in so we'll just click cancel on that and so this is the end of my fourth tutorial and in the next tutorial what I'm going to teach you is how to plot uh, different figures. So if you have multiple different functions, let's say I have to plot y equals um, x squared plus 5, um, then you can, you can show that in two different figures instead of one figure or you could show it as a subplot where there is a um, one figure after the second figure uh, after the first figure so that's uh, done using a function called subplot subplot which i will explain in the next tutorial so i hope you've learned something new and you'll be able to use this in your um in your work and i'll see you in the next one